All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makaf, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the whole flock of Israel. And uh, the Titus lesson is going to be for much wisdom is much grief. So, pretty much the more you know, um, you know, the more sorrowful you're going to feel. All right, because it's, it becomes heavy on you, especially. You know, coming to the true knowledge of Yah Bashem Shai, waking up to the fact that you are uh, Hebrew Israelites, being of uh, uh, Yasha Allah, being princes of the power. All right, you look around and see your people in this estate, and you see how the world's run, you see how things are going on here, and it vexes you. All right, and it vexes you internally, okay, because most of the times, you know, we can't really do anything about it, you know, because we're not we're not in our proper estate. You know, we have to uh, submit ourselves. To the powers that be, you know, being Esau Edom, because he is in power right now. Okay, we don't, we can't execute true judgment, righteous judgment in his kingdom because the wicked is in authority. All right, and that goes into being harmless as, serp uh, harm harmless as doves and wise as serpents. You know, we have to carry carry yourself pretty much, you know, like Clark Kent. You know, you have to be uh, under the radar, so to say, you know, because, you know, also going into the grief part is when you come after the truth, you, you, you seek after the truth. You follow after the true knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yoshai. Okay, of course you're set free in your mind, but in the physical you're still in bondage, right? You know it says in Isaiah 59 chapter, "True faileth and he that departeth from evil, maketh himself a prey." All right, once you turn away from evil and you seek after the truth, all right, and you continue to follow after the truth, you know you are you are a prey out here. Okay, because again, being in the in the the you know the world of wicked, you know. Uh, everywhere you go, there's snares, traps, there's, um, you know, temptations. You know, everywhere you go, everything is set up against you in this kingdom. Okay, you know, because again, going into the rulership, there's no righteousness here. Okay, and especially, you know, again with this wisdom, you look around, and then um, it, it it just it, it makes you angry. It makes you it makes you a lot of um, a lot of things. Okay, but uh, um. You know going into uh you know again the grief you know sometimes the truth feels like it's a burden okay and sometimes knowing too much feels like a bad thing you know because sometimes you wish you had a blind eye to certain stuff because you know you knowing so much it it irks you to the core right and that's why it's good to say be angry but sin not all right because there's not much we can do besides wait for yabash and to plead our cause okay sigh and cry out to him so he can fix this stuff all right but here i'm gonna start ecclesiastes Chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 17. And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this is also vexation of spirit. Okay, you see everybody in, in uh, the house of mirth. You know, always having to be entertained. Okay, that goes into, uh, you know, that, that term bread and circuses. You know, a diet of entertainment. You know, and it's fed to the people to keep them happy and docile. Because it tells you, it tells you in the matrix, you know, ignorance is a bliss. And that's in the scriptures. Okay, it says uh, in Proverbs 15 chapter, folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. Okay, the reason why these people can go out here and have a good time and enjoy themselves and you look at them, my God, how, how could you be out here having a genuinely good time when all hell is going on around the world? Okay, it's because they don't know anything. They don't know any better. Okay, and you know, they're oppressed, but they don't, they don't understand to the extent Right, they think there's a solution as far as drinking their problems away, going to the club. You know, they think that is life. You know, they think this is it. Okay, but not knowing that this place is hell, hell on earth. Okay, obviously it's a condition. All right, it depends who you are in the society. But nonetheless, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, if you're up top in society in this world, you're you are you're a seller. Okay, you don't know who you are. You know. Um, and you're against your people at the end of the day. Okay, that's why it's good to say a, a gift destroys the heart. Okay, the men are, are our people. They seek after to be successful in this world. And they end up joining hand in hand with the wicked. Okay, and they, they're they far departed away from the love of Yahweh Hashem Yoshat. Okay, but I will continue in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and read verse 18, which is the title of the lesson. For much wisdom is much grief. And he that increase of knowledge increase of sorrow again so the more you know you know the more heavy it's going to be on your heart meaning your mind okay 
And, you know, that's why you have to balance yourself out because, you know, you'll, you'll turn into a maniac. Okay. Of course, the spirit of Pariyah Bashram Shah is keeping us in the right mind state, you know, but seeing all these things on a day to day basis, you know, women have dressed, kids being uh, assholes, you know, you, 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 uh, whoever's over you at work, you know, nagging you, just people in general. All right. It, it, it makes you angry. You want to, and the thing is, when you know certain things, you know, you want to teach people. You want to tell them what's going on and, you know, you want to free them. Because it tells you the truth so I'll set you free. Okay? But people don't want to hear it. They love being in this low state. They love being uh, asleep. All right? And it's like, damn, you know, what can I do to fix all this? And the thing is, we have to wait. And that's and that's the, that's the one of the hardest parts is having to be patient. Right? And patience goes into suffering. Okay? Because you want to liberate your people. You want to... Uh, you know, put them up on game. What's going on? But at the end of the day, they cannot. They're not going to be able to receive because the Lord has vessels on this earth which He's just not going to give the truth onto. All right. And and again, you know, and then it goes into yourself. You know, enduring and fighting, and and it doesn't help to the the inflictions, the infirmities. You know, the stuff that we have to go through on a day to day basis. Okay, this is not an easy journey. It's not an easy walk. Okay, and <clears throat> that's why uh, the scriptures talk about being a good soldier. You know, because, you know, war is not always, you know, people think war is always uh, literally fist fighting. You know, it doesn't have to, war doesn't always, it's not always physical. You know, especially in this war that we're involved in, it's spiritual. Okay, constant, constant, constant attack by left-hand spirits. Because, it's, again, this whole world is in, is in left-hand vibration. All right, it's nothing but uh, the deceit, lies. And just wickedness and uh, you know iniquity all right and it's like the only place you can find righteousness is with the men that Yahweh Bashar has set up okay and that's the and that's the balance okay because these are the men that are out here you know um, for a reason because these are the men of the Lord all right and these are the men that are going to be uh, the solution to this world okay being a new Jerusalem and you know the people that the Yahweh Bashar is going to set up in the new kingdom to come you know, under um, Yahweh Bashem Shai with King David, you know, going into the tabernacle of David. But nonetheless, we have to wait, okay? We have to wait for the Lord to give us the kingdom, okay? Because, yeah, as you can see, you look around, this place is uh, is set up, okay? You know, this the only way this place is going to be taken out is by Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, yeah, you might know, uh, you know, you might know certain things, you might know this and that, but, you know, there's no other person that's, going to liberate our people besides the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Okay? And that's why it says, No man shall buy thee, no man shall redeem us. Okay? No one's going to save us out of this condition besides our power. Okay? Because it's been tried before and it's failed. Our people are trying to liberate themselves and it's a lousy attempt and they end up coming up short and being that movement being destroyed. Okay? So now it's to a point where people are like, we might as well just get along with the devil and that's how it's always been. Okay, go going back to Maccabees. All right, tells you, you know, we have been in much. Uh, uh, I don't know. I roughly paraphrasing how it goes, but how our people make covenants with the heathen instead of waiting on Yah Bashem Shai and really just understanding why we're in this condition in the first place. Okay, you think we just popped up and plotted here, you know, uh, and just uh, respond? No, no. Yah Bashem Shai had. Uh, a certain amount of events for us to be led up into this position that we're in. But the sad part is our people, because, you know, they don't have the little chains on them, you know, it's most, it's on their mind, okay? So they think that they're free, okay? And that goes with um, when you break in a, a horse, okay? Going into um, uh, Woody Lynch, the Woody Lynch letter, okay? When you break in a horse, you know, the, you don't put, you pretty much, um, you give it space, you give it a rope, all right. You 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 don't uh, put it up. You don't put it in a cage right away. You know you put you put a rope on it, and you a, a really long rope, and then slowly but surely you you close the rope in. All right, you show him the rope. You show him the rope until he doesn't realize that you know here he's uh he's been domesticated. You know, and that's what's happened to our people. You know, we've uh come to a point where we don't even uh, we're, we're docile. Okay, we. I have no idea what's going on and we're just lost okay you know gone astray 
All right, and no one's no one's saying restore. No one's saying to put our people in the right proper state. No one's trying to help our people the right way, tell them who they are. All right, because if that was the case, that means we would have they would have to literally give up their rulership and hand it over onto us, and that's not going to happen. Okay, but nonetheless, you know, our, our, um, going into the our state of oppression that we're in, our people really think they got it made okay, because they don't know their history. They don't know who they are. Okay, and that goes into them not knowing anything they think they just come from slavery they think they just come from a b and c okay but our history goes back to the beginning because we are the people of the book okay but our people don't know that okay they worship a white messiah they worship the white man okay because that's been being into them but they don't see it that way they follow after this lifestyle they follow after his ideologies and philosophies they want to join his military okay they want to be raised up in his society okay make a name for themselves in this world all right, not knowing that this world's this world's getting ready to end, okay. And it's and it, it weighs heavy, and especially speaking on the apostles on down, the men that have been laboring in this truth for a, a very long time. You know how heavy that is on their heart that to see our people just constantly failing, 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 and here it is right in front of your face as the answer, and they shun away from it and continue on to get destroyed. All right, but um. Here, move on to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Okay, so a wise man. All right, and not wisdom according to this world. Okay, because the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High. We're talking about the the, the wisdom of Yah, Bashem, Yoshai, being his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, it tells you my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right, and why? Because they have projected knowledge, right? And not, again, not worldly knowledge, not, you know, uh, mathematical equations you know uh, of course wisdom is wisdom but it tells you the, the knowledge of wisdom is not wicked it's like the, the the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom okay you know it says it's better to know uh it's better to know little all right than to be uh evil to it well it's like yeah i you know but you know what i'm trying to say okay you know well it says better better something to extend better is he that have little but fear of the lord all right um if I'm not mistaken. Um, but um, continuing to Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, and the gift destroyed the heart. Our people been given a little bit more freedom by, so to say, by the eyes, but really they're in an even worse situation. Okay. And 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 nobody's doing nothing to 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 fix that besides the true men of the Lord, okay, because people are doing stuff, but they're not it goes into working hard and working smart, you know. Yeah, you can do a lot, but you're doing a lot of nothing. Okay, you know they they don't have the answers. All right, you can go to college and get a a degree. All right, you can be put on high, be but what you're broke into the society. Okay, indoctrinated. All right, the only time they have a problem is when we we call ourselves who we really are. Okay, and that should resonate. That should that should ring a bell in your mind. Everything else, nobody got a problem with. You call yourself a nigga, this, nigga, that. Okay, you're going up to the White House, uh, taking, you know, pictures and this and that. And I want to be a president and I want to be a police officer. Uh, I want to be yada, yada, such and such, such and so forth. You know, first first black this, first, but no. But when you say, no, we're the people of the Bible, then is a is, is an uproar. And even for my own people. Okay, going into being plugged into that matrix. Okay. You know, and going into cognitive dissonance, they hear they it's pretty much a glitch in their system, to where they want to put you to death because, you know, their their mind is crashed, right? But you know, going into the folly of this world, you know, if it says uh, folly is set in great dignity, I mean folly is is set high in this place. Folly, entertainment, okay? People love things that don't uh, pertain to. Uh, the true knowledge of Yahweh Shem Shai, okay? Because again, at the end of the day, they hate them, okay? Them doing certain things to us and scoffing and, you know, poking and making fun of us has nothing. It's not. It's not us. It's it's He who sent us, okay? And that just goes into adding on to the fire of the Lord's jealousy about His people, you know, because here it is, you know, um, even then going into two thirds being destroyed, the Lord's calling 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 us back. And this is what it, nothing happens. The people continue to walk past, uh, snicker, you know, at camp, you know, brother, 
do spit on spit at a brother, you know. Who's who's out here fighting for us? You know, who who's out here, you know, trying to uh set us in the right direction, okay? We're we're we like it says we are not of this world, okay? But the thing is people don't understand the judgment of Yah Bashim Shah, they don't understand prophecy, okay? And and going into this folly spirit, you know, all you see is Jake. Jake is the ultimate, you know, uh, what, clown. You know, a, a, what do they call it, a jester. Um, a joker. You know, every everything about Jake is everything got to be funny. You know, in school, Jake's always a class clown. Oh, Jake want to be a comedian. Jake want to crack a joke, you know. Everything's so hee-hee-ha-ha, -ha, but... You know, going into being in the uh, the house of mourning, all right. That's it says the wise are in the house of mourning because we're in great evil times. All right, Yah Basham Shai is is angry. Every single day he's angry. You know, he sees the things that are going on in this world, and we can only see a small portion. We just see our life experience. You know, the day to day things we go through. So what more? You know, the whole you know, uh, you know the whole the whole spectrum of the things that are going on in this world. Okay, the things that are not seen, you know, by our eyes, of course, seen by the Heavenly Father. But, you know, again, going into, <clears throat> you know, the, again, people don't understand that this place has a set point of time which is going to end. And everything's all funny now and kiki now. But why do you think these men are out here telling you every single day the judgment of the Lord that's getting ready to come to pass? Do you just think it's because because people don't know what, what the reality is, uh, what what real life is and what fake life is, you know people don't under, cannot make a difference between real and fake, you know everything everything's fake to them. They say the moon's fake, everything's fucking fake, you know, or everything's every, or everything's true. They, there's no balance, you know, you know they learn one thing, oh now the earth's flat now. Then they're going on to these bugged out philosophies, these doctrines, okay, you know, putting themselves in like in a flushing toilet. Of a, a circle of, of nothing, and 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 the truth is simple, all right. You have to know a little bit of history, okay. Of course, the spirit has to be dealing with you, all right. But you know the simplicity of this truth, okay. You know everybody is. We don't we don't come off as all. You know some brothers are very great speakers. You know some brothers you know are, are well, uh, you know, well off in that case. But nonetheless, we're all saying the same thing, you know. We're not here using big words, you know, trying to entice you to this truth. It's either you receive it or you don't receive it, all right? But at the end of the day, did you get the message? That's the point, you know? But, uh, you know, again, going into the uh, oppression, you know, it says, what it says in, say, it says in uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 10, chapter, that I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Okay, again, knowing your worth, all right? Knowing who you are. You know, it it's uh it's not an easy thing to carry on your spirit, okay? And you have to walk around every single day knowing that, you know, you being a you know a, a prince of power, all right, and you're in bondage to uh, Esau, all right? But again, you know, the Lord is a power of correction, okay? And understanding too, there's a light in the tunnel that this is just for a set point in time, all right? This is not a for everything. This is just for a lesson thing. Okay, you know, we know the reward of the wicked is coming. Okay, we just hope we work, work straight with the Lord on this side. Okay, you know, that's why we endure these things because it was in our mind to go astray. All right, we we turned away from Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, and being returned, we have to what seek him 10 times more. Okay, but this is pretty much you know going into that uh the furnace of adversity, you know, acceptable men, you know, put in a you know, put in that fire. Okay, ultimately. You know, again, it's it's a spiritual war. It's always a war in your mind. Okay, you know, staying on the just and right path, or going back and turning onto your own vomit. Okay, because you see again with your eyes, you see the world prospering in wickedness. All right, they're prospering in the way. Okay, don't ain't shit happening to them. They they get it. They catch every break. And here it is, you knowing the truth. You don't you don't catch you don't catch a break. You catch hell wherever it is, whatever level of hell you catch. It doesn't matter. All right, we're still here, okay? But, you know, just going into, we, we just got to be patient. We got to wait, you know, because, again, 
Surely shall the wicked be punished. They shall not go unpunished. You know, it says in Psalm the fifth chapter, the foolish shall not stand in his sight. Okay? He hates all the workers of iniquity. All right? You know, he says, uh, what now? Proverbs 26 chapter, the, the great power that formed all things, uh, both reward of the fool and the and reward of transgressors. Okay? You know, and that's the thing that going into being a visionary, you have to know that there's a way out. You just got to hold on to it. This truth is a treasure. Okay, it looks like in the sight of the, in, in the, sight of the unwise, we seem to die. Okay, you know, but we're at peace. You know, of course, you know, on the outside, we perish, we catch hell, you know, this and that and so forth. A lot of vexation. But nonetheless, you know, we have a way out. Okay, as long as we stay in order, we hold on fast to what we have. Okay, because we can we we consider the latter end. We can enjoy the sin for a season, or, or turn back onto the Lord and receive, you know, uh, uh, you know, rights to the book of life, the tree of life. Okay, will be written in the book of life and have rights to the tree of life. Okay, being being first fruit to the kingdom. Okay, you know, people in this world they're just gonna enjoy it, and it and it's and it's and it's an illusion. It looks like they're having a good time, but these people are miserable. Okay. It says, uh, "Wisdom of Solomon, miserable, but miserable are they, and in dead things is their hope." You know. So, people hope, uh, you know, in in vanity. Okay, and vanity is not going to stand these last days, especially with everything rolling in, and that's why these the people going into the, um, you know, the house of mirth. These people are going to want to do everything to keep their lifestyle of you know play, play, and bread and circuses. So they're going to take that chip. Which is the mark of the beast, you know, and at the end of the day, this can end up to be destroyed. So that's what should keep in the back of your mind. Yeah, you might, your life might be born. Yeah, your life might suck. All right, but it says we are dead and our life is hid with you how shy. All right, that's why we're supposed to be hastening the day. Okay, you know, going into the people in this, uh, in, the, uh, in the house of mirth, you know, oh, it says in Deuteronomy 32nd chapter, oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, uh, that they would consider the latter end. Their latter end is destruction. Okay. And you see, again, you see these people having a good time, but knowing there's a, there's a, there's a sand, what is it, what is it, a sand clock? <laughs> you know, there's a time clock right over their head, okay? And, and, and really they're being preserved for judgment, okay? Because Yahweh and is coming back in flaming vengeance to take, you know, his anger out on them that don't know him, okay? Don't know what the hell is going on. It says, oh, how, how long you simple was you love simplicity, Okay? And all this hell is breaking loose, you know. Well, I might as well get it, all right. Um, which I'll just close out. I'm just kind of just spiritually venting, you know. But nonetheless, you know, those one, of course, just be edifying. Uh, but this is a uh, Luke chapter 6, yeah, Luke chapter 6, verse 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger, all right. Being satisfied, you know, full, meaning you're you're okay with where you stand, all right. You, uh, you know, even it doesn't matter. You know, if you're okay with this world, you know, if you don't disagree with it, you're with it. All right. If you say it's not that bad, all right. You you have any type of hope in this place, then that's why it, it, we just read. For you shall hunger. All right. Meaning you're gonna be you're gonna be disappointed. Okay. You know, in this time to coming into you know which this place you held on fast to, you had your hope on to. All right. It's getting ready to come right before your feet, and it's already happening now. Okay. But it's going to happen on a large scale, you know, uh, again, going into what Daniel's 12th chapter to a time like no other. Worse than any time in history you can imagine. And even saying that, you know, it's hard. To, you can't you can't picture how bad it's going to be out. You just you know it's coming. All right. But you don't really know what to expect. You know, you know, we don't know what we're going to have to go through. We don't know what we're going to have to see. We just know as far as privacy goes, bad times are coming. All right. But, you know. It don't matter if you were, oh, he was, Bobby he was a good dude. He was, a, the Lord don't care about none of that. All right, if you're not serving him, he's going to put you to death. Okay. You know, he was a straight A student, you know, little, you know, little John, little Chris. He was a good kid, you know, straight A's. He was never late to school. He, teacher loved him, you know, but that's not the spirit you're supposed to be in. Okay. That's why it's good to say, uh, the, the, the world only love of his only love them of his own perfect paraphrasing okay if you're, if you're in a world the world's going to be agreeance with you all right you know the lord don't care about your status on this side he don't care about none of that stuff okay these missiles are going to hit 
once it touches you, you're going to die. It don't matter what you are, if you're a tree or a chair, you know. It, the Lord is coming to destroy everything in this place, okay. And if, you, if you're talking about 20, 25, 20, 30, or raising up your kids on this side, again, you're going to be greatly disappointed. And it's gonna be, and it's gonna be physical, okay. Going into the famines, the pestilence, okay. The Lord's gonna, you're gonna be embarrassed, all right. Being greatly ashamed that you, you had joy in this place, that you really thought this is, this was the place to be, okay. But then going into the balance, all right. You know, uh, us on this side that gave up our life, you know, we're hungry. You know, we, we, we starve for righteousness. We starve for the kingdom of heaven, all right. And we're gonna be filled, okay. When you know. Um, our Lord returns, okay. But continue, won't you that laugh now? For you shall weep and mourn. All right, so right now we're weeping and mourn on this side, okay. We hate this place, all right. It sucks, you know, whatever amount of time you've been suffering in this, in this truth, all right. We're all saying the same thing, you know, we want to get out of here, okay. We want things to be right, simple things, you know, we can't enjoy life on this side. Life, there is no life on this side, okay, because you're in hell. It don't matter who you are, all right, what you built up, it's going to be taken from you, all right? And that goes into the vanity of this place, all right? But all you people that laugh, laugh at the prophets, you know, laugh, kiki, haha, jokes, you know, and this and that, so on and so forth, you're going to weep and mourn, all right? Because you thought this was a game. You thought everything was just fun and happiness and happy-go-lucky spirit and, uh, or you can, you can do it your own way and this and that and say what you want to say and... You got your formula to how things are supposed to be done, all right? You're getting ready to be crying and mourning, all right? And even more gruesome, you're going to be weeping and gnashing your teeth because people are going to be putting out, being put out left and right, okay? Because at the end of the day, you are in agreement with this place. You worship this place. You love this place, okay? You, whether you said it or not, you wouldn't have no other way, okay? Because people talk shit about this place all the time, all right? But if you hated this place so much, why aren't you on this side? Why aren't you fighting with... The true men of the Lord, being of Yah, Bashan, Shai, and just listening to what we're saying, you know. But most people walk past, they look, and they have their preconceived notions, all right, and not at all inquiring what the hell's going on because they think they got to figure it out. All right, you got a college degree, you know, you got this and that, you watch this dude on YouTube, you, but the Lord's not hearing none of that stuff, okay? He's calling his sheep, you know, and, and going into this the, the door closing on this place, you know, this is going to start getting, things going to start speeding up. Okay, we don't got time to be doing, you know, extremely long lessons and uh, this on this and that and so forth, you know, because it's pretty much getting into crunch time. Okay, so, you know, the balance is we're going to laugh. We're going to have fun, you know, and especially in this time we're heading into. Okay, of course, we're going to hey, have our little the things we go through, you know, but the Lord says he's going to take care of us. Okay, because that's us counting the cost and considering the latter end. Right now we have to suffer, but it's not going to be forever. Okay. And the Lord is always, the Lord is going to protect us. All right, we're to the best of our ability and following after Him and f seeking after Him and, and you know uh, following after the old paths that lead for the rest of our souls. All right, the Lord said if we do what we're supposed to do, He's going to take care of us. All right, and He already does now. All right, He maintains us. You know, we, we get our, our our daily bread. Okay, we're still in the Spirit. All right, uh, and so on and so forth. The Lord delivers us. Okay, so what more in these times to come? Okay, because. Now again, when you're going into game time, all right. Now with all all that you know time you had at set liberty, it's going to be put to use. This wisdom you're going to have to apply, okay. And at the end of the day, again, the Lord's not going to put you through nothing you can't handle. But you know, again, going into you know, this it, is it's it's game time, all right. So all this suffering we're doing is not for nothing, and you have to remember that, all right. And that's what should keep you going ultimately because you don't want to you don't want to be killed, you don't want to be put to death. All right, but um, you know, Lord's again, you know, just just really just vent through spirit, you know, nothing really uh, you know, as far as uh, purely planned to speak of, you know, just uh, going into you know pretty much what we're going going through in the same in a, in, a, in uh, you know, in the same token, you know, uh, what we all think, you know, just uh, how you know this place sucks. <laughs> You know, we have little highlights. We have things we, you know, we do on the side or whatever the case may be. But it doesn't make us whole. You know, we're all sick. You know, we need that physician. You know, especially our our nation as a whole. You know, 
and uh, and it's coming. You know, we just gotta wait for it, and uh, surely, to, especially if you're paying attention, what's going on? You know, the Lord's working. You know, we just gotta hang on a little bit, a little longer, and before you know, it, we're gonna wake up from this freaking nightmare. All right, but uh, again, Lord's willing to be edifying. As always, wanna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yah Shai, Bashim Double honors to the elders and apostles of a millstone, and peace and blessings to the whole flock of Israel. Shalom.